What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I am headed out to my spot in Nebraska to do a hanging hunt and I screwed up. I screwed up big time. I misread what time first light was um, out on this piece of property. It is way earlier than I thought it was gonna be and now it's already starting to get light out. So, <sighs> kinda sucks but um, this morning is way too good of a morning should be way too good of a morning to uh, sleep in by any means so I'm headed out to the piece of property right now yeah we'll see I'm kind of disappointed that I screwed up so easily on what time first light was gonna be I thought I was gonna have a solid hour to go hang my tree stand in the middle of the dark that is obviously not the case but it's November 1st in Nebraska and it's 30 degrees out. So I think we've got a good chance of seeing some deer either way. And uh, maybe it'll be a good thing that I'm coming in just a little bit late so that I can see clearly. I can glass the fields on my way in and make sure that I'm not gonna bump anything. So that's the plan and uh, we'll see you out there. All right, headed into my set. Saw two deer out in this field when I pulled up. Just waited for them to slowly make their way to the tree line before I moved in, so should be in good shape. Just slip in here real quiet. There were two coyotes out in this cornfield. I also saw two deer way back in the trees <clears throat> it kind of looked like like a buck dogging or chasing a doe they didn't look spooked or anything they just looked like they were kind of moving along i'm gonna see what it looks like up here when i get closer to the stand um but i might try to slip down into that old pasture and find a tree to set up against like on the ground um, We'll see. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but there looks like there's a buck chasing a doe back in there. Um, the opposite side of where my tree stands at, so I might try to just slip in there real quiet, get set up, and uh, use a grunt call or tickle the rattling horns together, see if I can't pull him away. I don't know. We'll see. I think he's a shooter. I think he's just a stud two and a half. He might be a three and a half, but man, he looks, he looks young. His body size is just kind of small. I think this is the spot I need to be though. I need to figure out somewhere to set up. Just right up on the ground, somewhere in the thick. Get my camera arm strapped up. I should have brought my tripod with me. Didn't film it because they were right on top of me, but I just had 
three bucks come walk past me at 15 yards on the ground. Didn't even notice me, one of them. One of them was a borderline shooter, but I couldn't even move uh, to get anything on video, so I let him walk past. He didn't notice me. I'm just setting up against this tree. Um, it's obviously a pretty decent little spot. So I'm gonna set my I'm gonna set my camera arm on this limb right here and uh, do some calling, see if I can bring him back in. They were kind of like nose to the ground, so I think they're looking. This might be a good spot. Set this camera up. I'm gonna rattle quick, try to get that buck to come back in. Well, this morning I had uh, that one buck, that three and a half year old that was over here on that. There's a little ridge top and he was kind of just standing up there. Um, him as well as three other bucks came by me at 15 yards. I wasn't able to get my camera to get video of him because they came in so quick. I was starting to get set up and those bucks just, I looked up and those bucks were already 30, 35 yards from me. So I belly crawled over to this tree and I had no time to get my camera set up, but they moved by at 15 yards, didn't even notice me. So I set the camera up on this tree and did some rattling, tried to call him back in, but nothing showed up. Um, it's been a couple hours now, so I'm gonna pack things up and do just a little bit of scouting. I'm gonna go over to that ridge top where that buck was and see if there's a tree that I can hang in right there because that's where the majority of the deer came from. Uh, so that's the plan, get things packed up, move over there, see what there is for a tree, and then head back to the truck and start game planning for the midday and uh, getting my hanging hunt set up ready to hunt tonight over on that other piece of property that I was planning on going to this morning. But good action this morning either way. It was, uh, it was a fun sit from the ground. Uh, sometimes it's fun to just get down and trust your camouflage and set up on the ground and see what happens. And it definitely worked out today. I mean, if that buck were mature, I definitely uh, would have been able to get an arrow in him. So, uh, so yeah, like I say, good morning, but I'm gonna pack up and uh, start moving over that way. All right, so I've kind of come down where those bucks came this morning and I'm kind of just taking a look around, seeing if there's a specific set of trails that they're taking and if there's gonna be a tree that I'm able to get a tree stand in. It's tough because this is old cattle pasture and it's mostly just cedars and thorn thickets. I mean, it is like, it's like almost impossible to find a dang tree to hang in. So um, I'm just, taking this place apart and just really combing over everything and making sure that I've got a good idea of what this place looks like so that uh, if I do find a tree, I'm gonna drop it on my Onyx maps so that I can come in in the dark, like in a morning, and hang in that tree without disturbing anything. I already know where that tree is. I can just go straight to it. So that's kind of the game plan for this morning. I'm gonna be heading back to the truck here soon and uh, getting ready to head over to that other piece of property 
hang my stand for the midday and uh, evening sit. So. Found a rub over here. Check this trail out. Goes all the way up into the cornfield. Might be able to find a tree on the edge of this field to hang in. Man, they're using this trail like a lot. Hey, I think that tree could take a tree stand. There's a couple down there too. Sweet, might have just found a good evening set. All right, so here's my plan. I have a tree stand over in that block of woods. So I'm gonna bring it over and actually hang it up in this tree because it overlooks this bottom, overlooks that trail, and then obviously overlooks the cornfield. Should be a great evening spot. So I'm just gonna take my bow with me. Probably nothing else because I want to carry it over here silently. Um, go over there and pull that tree stand out. Bring it back and hang it here real quick while I've got my safety harness. And uh, this tree is pretty well, like you can dang near climb the whole tree without any steps. There's a lot of, a lot of branches to grab onto. So I think I just need to put one or two steps in the base, which I'll steal from that tree over there. And then be able to get it way up there about 20, I'll bet it's 22, 23 feet, so. Let's go do that. Okay, I got the stand. I'm gonna run up this tree real quick, hang it about 20 to 23 feet up. And uh, yeah, should be a great spot for this stand um, overlooking this cornfield. Hopefully a little bit later on in the week, I can get a decoy set to work right on this corner. Set that boss buck decoy up. Maybe pull something out of that thick cedar patch over there. So we'll see. I'm gonna hang this and then we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. Got it all set. Honestly, this setup is gonna be money for a lot of different reasons. One, I think it's a perfect decoy setup. I can put a decoy right out here on this inside corner. And uh, it also has the draw running back behind it that I can shoot to. And they're all bedding back in that big cattle pasture. It's big overgrown cattle pasture and they're bedding down back there. So um, it's also gonna be a dual threat for late season because obviously we've got cut corn right here. And I know for a fact they use this cornfield uh, during late season feeding. So all together, I think it's a money set. I love where this stand is um, with the right wind. I think it's gonna be absolutely killer to hunt. So I'm gonna pack up my stuff, head back to the truck, um, just take a quick break, eat some food, and then get ready to head out do a hanging hunt on another piece of property a couple miles down the road. So we'll see you back at the truck. So I just looked at the time and I'm a freaking idiot. The reason I was late this morning was because it was freaking daylight savings time. Daylight savings happened and I didn't know it. Wow. That's why I was exactly an hour late. <laughs> Wow. I've been on the road too much, guys. I've been on the road too much. Good to go. Big old active scrape. Right off the edge of the cornfield. Well, I got pinned down by a buck. 
I couldn't move. I was on the ground for an hour. And I've been slowly moving around and I can't find a dang tree to hang in on this corner that I like other than this one. Unfortunately, this is just a lot of cedars. There's nothing really to hang in. So what my plan is at this point, it's getting too late in the day to make any noise. Um, trying to hang this dang thing so I'm just gonna leave it here at the base of the tree and take what I need which uh, is my binos my bow move in down here closer into the cedars and just set up and maybe try to rattle something in and I'll come get this stuff at dark when I try to head back to my truck but for now just gonna go real light Set up right 